When Edgar Snow first visited China in the early 1930s, he traveled to Northwest China and reported on the famine that was occurring in those places. And as a photojournalist, he took pictures, uh, very moving pictures of people who are, who are starving, who have nothing to eat, um, who are dying by the roadside. Um, and so Edgar Snow himself was keenly aware of the lack of development, the way that China was just a very poor, very impoverished um, country under really bad leadership at that time. And he understood how that led to a revolutionary situation. Um, China needed better government, better leadership in order for it, for it to realize its incredible potential. He brought that understanding to the uh, to writing Red Star over China. The book was immediately a bestseller when it was first published in 1937. It was simultaneously published in London and the United States. And subsequently, it's been translated into Mandarin and many other world languages. So to this day, it's one of the most important uh, sources and reference books for the history, not only of the CCP, but really the whole history of modern China. Why do we want to grow the economy? It's, it's not so that a few people can be rich. It's so that everyone can prosper. Everyone can realize their, their potential for themselves and their families. So that's the vision that Edgar Snow understood from the CPC leadership and that he projected for the future of China. And it turned out he was correct. In those 85 years since Edgar Snow visited, um, China has become much more developed economically, socially, culturally. Um, it's become a economic powerhouse, the likes of which the world has never seen. Um, there are highways. There are high-speed rail lines. There, the communication, the transportation in China is vastly improved. And also the standard of living for everybody has been raised enormously.